Hey everyone, Trix here with just another random speed paint video. But wait a moment, this isn't just any old speed paint video. Uh-uh, no sir. This is my first thoughts and experience playing with my brand new, brace yourself for a mouthful, Huey on Canvas GT156 HD V2 pen display that arrived a couple days ago. <gasps> Whew, got it out without stumbling. I'll save you guys the trauma of an official review as I was too impatient to set up a camera or anything to record an unboxing or anything like that. Instead, I just want to take you guys through my first day of playing with this display. After plugging it in and spending a fair bit of time calibrating and setting up short keys for the display and pen, I started exercising with a few random doodles, just adjusting to the pen pressure and placement as I went. It felt so floaty at first and I think I had the calibration a bit off in the beginning as where I was drawing the lines and where it was appearing on screen didn't quite match up. I fixed this a bit later down the track as I worked on it, finding what worked and what didn't. I was amazed straight away by the sensitivity of the pen to display and could feel my workflow and how I was treating my sketches changing and becoming more fluid and rough. Less picky, if you could say. These definitely emulate my rough sketchbook style sketches. So one of the reasons I picked this display was because it has a selection of shortcut keys included on its frame. I knew having access to my keyboard would be an issue with the display taking up majority of my desk space, so I desperately needed these keys to help my workflow, but with so many to set up it did take some time to decide which button should do what, and even then I forgot which button was which half the time as I was working, so I was desperate enough a few times to just reach across the display for my keyboard. Very happy footage of that doesn't exist. So after a few rounds of drawing nonsense doodles, I spotted my Beauty and the Beast soundtrack cover on my other display about to play and that gave me just something more concrete to sketch up. Keeping it relatively rough and loose still, I found these were more picky details to concentrate on that I really needed to control my pen to create. It still had a mind of its own at this point but I was slowly getting there. You may have noticed that in working with these sketches I haven't been zooming in or rotating the canvas as I have in the past and that was an example of how I felt my workflow attitude changing from tablet to display. I waited till the last minute to zoom in to tweak a few things but only because I felt I needed to make sure that aspect remained a part of my overall process. Ditching the doodles and deciding to get somewhat serious so you guys aren't just sitting there watching crazy things appear on screen forever. I wanted to tackle something both relaxing but also something that could challenge me in adapting to this new display. It's been a while since I've drawn one but the wolf holds a very special place in my heart. I don't know exactly what it is about them that I've held on to all these years but I don't see myself ever growing detached. Those of you who follow my Twitter would have seen that picture I shared of the Melina Toys wolf cup and my reaction to it. Say hello to my new coffee savings goal everyone! Originally it was a Nintendo Switch but I went from wanting to spend my extra birthday money on a logical purchase to a more emotional one as soon as I came across the picture of that little fella. percent sure but I think the time I spent on my sketch and lineup for this piece was significantly faster than some of my other works in the past or at the very least less finicky. My lineup application wasn't perfect at this point but I can certainly see the potential for improvement as I grow more accustomed to working on this display. I found the longer stretches of liner like the bridge of his nose to be easier to draw more fluidly. I am working on a larger surface than I have in the past so the movement on my arm is less restricted and shaky.
finding that good middle ground between too zoomed in or too zoomed out but able to work with details was part of the learning curve but I'm happy with how the lineup turned out in the end especially the fur oh he's so cuddly Tackling the color stage differently, I wanted to keep things rough and easy to manage so I decided to tackle a more hand painted style to keep things interesting but also not to break me on my first day. I laid down the base roughly, from there you lock the border of your color and go to town with all the different shades and tones you want. After that's done, use the eraser to clean up the details like the wisps of fur. I used a technique similar to this a little while back when I was working on my challenge of the month entry for Draw With Jazz's March competition. That was days upon days spent on creating a detailed and painted style Disney landscape. Deadline was the 26th of March but we won't know much in terms of results until I would say early April. I would really appreciate it if you guys headed over to my Twitter or Newgrounds account to help share the love by either sharing your feedback or retweeting it. I really push myself on on that piece and would love to hear your guys thoughts on the final product. I wasn't able to make a video of my process like I originally thought I might and I could only imagine that even after editing it down you guys might still have sat there overwhelmed for well over an hour. I might have broken you or your eyes.
Finishing the piece off with a very rough barren hills landscape. My very first piece completed on my pen display was finished and ready to share. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and my initial thoughts on working with my new Huey on Canvas display. Such a much easier way of saying what the heck it is. I've got a long way to go, but I'll enjoy learning along with you guys how to make this bad boy sing for me. Please share the love in the comment section below, subscribe for future videos, or pop on over to Discord to catch up with me and my band of misfits. We always look forward to welcoming new faces. Catch you guys next time. See ya! Oh,